All right, everyone, welcome to the game Banished. This is an awesome game. Let me fool around with, oh, it already has, I had it. Okay. Um, so the game Banished is kind of like SimCity, but it's all medieval. Um, it's pretty difficult. Here, I'll go ahead and, uh, so you're gonna click new, you name your town. We're gonna go ahead and, go ahead and name this Architect Survival. No, what's a better name than that? Come on. Um, how about Guillespinage? Yes, Guillespinage. That is what we will name it. All right, terrain type, valleys or mountains. I'm going to go with valleys. Uh, mountains are pretty hard to build on because you can't build on them. So we're going to stick with valleys for right now. Large terrain, obviously you want you know, as much as possible because later on you're going to regret it if you only got a little bit. Uh, climate, I'm going to go ahead and go with fair. Um, it's not mild or harsh. Uh, the weather on this game doesn't really affect things. It, I mean, the cold weather will kill your settlers, but I don't think that's, you know, that's not necessarily a, a horrible thing. I mean, if we're all honest with ourselves. Um, but fair weather is pretty easy to handle. Disasters are on. Starting conditions, we're going to go with medium. Medium game begins with five families, clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built. Some seeds for fields and orchards are available. <gasps> Let's go. Guil Espinage. So, <clears throat> as it said before, you're not going to start out with very much. I think you start out with like a cart full of food and you've got like 11 villagers. I haven't played this in a couple months. I really like it. Um, the one interesting thing about this game is it doesn't have a technology tree. Um, if you're familiar with that kind of concept. Certain games like this, like if, let's say I built like a small chapel. Um, over time, I would later be able to build like a larger chapel or, you know, a, uh, what are they called? Just, you, you'd, you'd start getting bigger and better and then it'd be a school and you'd hire monks and like, it would slowly evolve. It doesn't have anything really like that. It's, it's pretty simple because the main point of this game is to survive. And that is the hardest part of this game. For some reason, it's not letting me start. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. And when I'm back, hopefully this is fixed. All right, so I'm back. Um, I had to actually restart a new game. I think for some reason recording and setting up this game is really taxing my computer because the fans are wigging out. So I'm hoping we get this started. Um, it's taking a while though. Trading goods with the natives. Searching for wildlife. Um, that's one cool aspect of this game is that you can trade. Oh, right. Let's turn down. Oh my gosh. The sound is ridiculoso um bam Bye. okay listen all right so real quick uh freak let's do this so i have my own system of how i set this whole thing up and i will explain what all that is so what is this professions Professions. All right, so start out with 10 laborers, and as you start building different uh, buildings, here, let's go over here, buildings uh, t -t 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 -t, like a tailor, you get blacksmiths, herbalists, forest lodge, woodcutters, all these people you start uh, taking from the labor. So you start running out of people quick because you're going to have to supply these people with their basic needs. So usually what I start out doing is I start doing a road, and I'll do it from the center, and I'll just... Do, do, do. And like I said, this is going to be pretty basic starting out. Come on. Yeah. Got it right there. All right. So all these people. Oh, why can't I? This is weird. I can't seem to select them. Um, oh, and this is the time. So press play. They all start walking. Um, oh, that's right. It doesn't work like that. I keep thinking I have to like select them. All right. So what we're going to do first Sorry if the music's loud, I need to figure it out later. Um, so as you can see, we have, over here we have like so much wood, we have so much stone, uh, iron, uh, fire, firewood, tools, clothes, uh, food. A lot of this comes down to math. 
Um, okay, let me see if I remember how to do this. Frank, it's been so long, man. Um, uh, how did I just, did I just do that? There we go. So as you can see, these little houses, you can rotate them. Which way am I rotating them now? Okay, I think it's facing out now. Yeah, so we're going to do that. And then, do, do, do. Sorry, I, I haven't played this game in a while, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, what was it, R? There we go. click all right so we have six houses starting out um, another thing you're gonna want to do is you go into here and you say remove any resources so I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna literally say clear all this out and when they start all these laborers are gonna come out and they're gonna start clearing everything actually I'm gonna take five and I'm gonna make them builders so it's all right and go so yeah let's speed this up a little bit a lot of people are like, no, you don't want to speed this game up. Honestly, I, I can't handle it when it's going too slow. So I speed it up every time I play. Um, and I do pretty decently. Uh, there we go. All right. So once that pops up, we're going to need to get a woodcutter. That woodcutter is the person that's going to be keeping everybody warm. Now, real quick, here's where it gets tricky. So I paused it in case you're like, where did all this town go? All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to set up a, nope, gatherer's hut. These people collect a lot of food. The only problem is, is that once you start building in that general area, that food starts disappearing because you start cutting down these trees and all that kind of stuff, and that's where, like, the mushrooms... And uh, as you can see, where are they? There's like mushrooms in and out of here. Where are you? Usually you can see them. See like these bushes and stuff? Oh, that's a deer. Um, you'll create like a hunter's lodge. Well, anyways, I'm not going to spend this entire time finding mushrooms. Um, so I'm going to let them do what they do. They've already built two houses. As you can see right here, this number of adults, students, slash children. So I have 11 adults and I have seven children. Um, I, I have three homeless, so hopefully after they build this last house, they're good. I usually build six because the important part of this game is the expansion. If you don't have uh, houses, hang on a second. If you don't have enough houses, they won't they won't breed. So they'll actually refuse to like have kids and come up with the next generation unless they've got enough houses to fill, because these houses only holds so many people. Let me see. Yeah, they hold like, I want to say like 11 or something like that. Um, so you got to constantly keep up with that and like build more houses. Let's go ahead and let them keep going. Let's go down to two. Um, I don't have any crops yet. Oh, wait, do I? No, I don't. Forget on medium. I don't, I don't believe I have crops. I'm about to waste time. What? I have crops. Okay. So I'll do crops. Um, as you can see, though, that's going to take two workers away, which I'm actually fine with right now. That's pretty decent. Um, I forgot that that was on medium. I thought that was on easy. All right, so I got my gatherer's head over here, and they're going to start making food. These people are going to cut wood whenever they start getting all the research for it. See, it requires like 24 logs, 8 stone, and like, I don't know what that equates to. People building it time, I guess. Um, let's see. So yeah, at some point I'll build like a bridge, and then maybe I'll start setting up like uh, Fisher's Post, or what are they called? Hang on a do, do, do. What are these? Fishing docks. I'll start setting up fishing docks along the edge of this. Um, 
I want to come up with a really good design for this city. Right now, I'm just trying to like survive and get things going. But see, what's cool about this game is like these little pockets between the mountains. You can go through the mountains with uh, with tunnels, but otherwise they're kind of trapped in there, which is it's it's a, it's a cool little area. To, like sometimes, what I like to do is I'll build like the uh, commercial district over here. And then I'll start putting all the farms up here. And I'll, the only way you can like access each other is via that tunnel, which it's just, uh, I, it's my little way of like, I don't know, keeping things organized and making it kind of cool. Um, the other thing is with what time it is, it's spring right now. Um, as you can see, that's like the first year. Uh, if you don't have a farm set up in the spring, they actually won't start planting. Why do I feel like this music is so loud? But they won't start planting. They'll wait uh, till the next spring. So if you are relying on that as like your number one food source, it's not gonna happen. And this is really cool too. Uh, as they plant, like the way they plant, cause they'll actually walk into like random spots. That's where it will grow and it will grow at the speed it's supposed to grow in those areas. Okay, so right now I need a wood cutter. Because when it comes to winter and we have no wood, uh, these people are going to freeze to death. And as you can see right now, they're cold. And uh, I've lost a game like that before where I was like, ah, oh, suck it up. You know, it's not that cold. <laughs> and then they died. Sad story. See? Can't build anything. That's one thing about this game that I'd like to see change is I wish I could like level out the terrain up here and have like hill country. Like that that would be pretty cool is if I had like a little tribe of people, a little offshoot of people that survived in these these mountainous areas. I just think that'd be kinda cool. Um it's those different little systems that make uh make this fun. It makes it realistic. Because in real life, you don't have everyone just grouped up down here. They start spreading out. They start doing their own thing. They come up with their own, like... They're not going to do that in this game, cultures and traditions, but you get what I'm saying. So, this is actually working out pretty good. 20% uh, yield. You can actually force them to harvest. So, let's say it gets to, like, late fall, and for some reason they're not harvesting. It's, like, 80%. You just tell them harvest right now. And they'll take everything, they'll put it in this barn. Right now we have 12, yeah, you can see it over here as well. Um, so there's that. You can jump in here, see how much we got. 65% full. And then this, I think that's a chick. Yeah, RSC. She's making uh, firewood for everybody. Stop falling. Um, They cleared everything out. We got a pretty good stack here. So we got all that. Now the next thing that you're gonna run into is you're gonna start your tools are gonna start degrading. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to build a blacksmith's hut or whatever you want to call it. God, that sound is just so loud. Oh my gosh. Hang on. What the what what is all this? I don't know what any of that is. Okay. It's still going to be loud. Um, so they'll start building. Okay, good. It's actually going pretty well. Like I said, I haven't played for a while, so I was a little worried. There we go. Nothing? Come on, get to work. Okay, so it's over there. Uh, I'm not going to have them clear anything in that area. I'm actually going to start moving down into this pocket, which I'm going to start clearing it out. And then once you clear it out, we'll start setting up the mines, uh, which is supposed to go on a hill. Man. So I'll figure out exactly where I want to put this. Probably, probably back in here, like that. And then uh, the quarry. This takes up a lot of area, and it's just plain old ugly. So we're going to have to separate it 
That's why, like I said before, I like to separate things because I don't want really nice houses, which these will upgrade into like brick house, stone houses. Um, I don't want really nice houses in like a nice neighborhood with a church and then all of a sudden there's like a giant quarry. I want to separate it. I want to make it look nice. This is a nice area. It doesn't actually affect the gameplay like in any way, but it really affects my OCD. So, all right, uh, this is the first episode of Banished. I hope you liked it. Um, I know I do. It's a it's a pretty fun game. Uh, <coughs> it's fun to start over. Uh, reserve of food is low. Okay, they're gonna start harvesting. No, it's early summer. Uh, it's fun to start over. It's fun to start from the beginning because uh, it's so difficult to start because you're stuck in this area and you got to make the best of it. At the same time, you're trying to expand. So, but anyways, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Uh, if you want to see something different, if music's too loud or anything like that, or maybe you just want me to stop talking, uh, just leave a like or a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.